General Mindeleo Chap Chap, Wilfred Nyamu Advocate. Very well. Um, having said that, I will. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Today, we are here, therefore, to witness the signing ceremony of an additional member to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, the United Democratic Movement, UDM. We take this opportunity to welcome all the parties that have joined the alliance after the election. Allow me to clarify that while there are certain timelines governing pre-election coalition, there is no limitation whatsoever for those that want to enter into post-election coalitions. We have had, for example, certain coalitions trying to use illegal arrangements of a contractual nature and trying to limit the freedom of association to some parties and telling them, after the election, if you are in this kind of coalition, you cannot leave after 90 days, some I don't know after how many months. I want to say without any fear of contradiction that the fundamental right of the freedom of association is a basic human right to be enjoyed by both natural and juristic persons, meaning members of political parties, as well as the political parties themselves, enjoy the fundamental right of freedom of association unhindered. I also want to clarify that rights can be limited in certain circumstances when it is justifiable. And that is why the Political Parties Act, for example, says that parties that want to enter into coalitions must sign those coalitions before, or rather not less than 90 days before the election. That limitation is not supposed to inhibit the freedom of association. It is provided for under Article 24 of the Constitution where certain rights can be limited so that to allow certain things to be uh, managed. For example, freedom of movement can be limited, for example, in form of a curfew, but then there must be a law and a justification for that. So the reason, therefore, without talking a lot or for too long, the reason why the pre-election coalition arrangements are limited is to allow certainty in the election calendar so that the IBC, up to a certain level, needs to know what political parties 
are involved, which ones are pre uh, presenting candidates, so that they can print ballot papers after that. And that explains, therefore, why the Political Parties Act does not limit in any way post-election coalitions and any arrangement of whatever nature, be it a coalition uh, agreement, that purports to, without justification, limit the freedom of, of association post-election is illegal, unconstitutional, null, void, and I dare say any person who think they can use a contractual or coalition agreement to thwart and express fundamental right in the constitution, I dare say that these are people who are still living in the old order. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you, we have scrutinized the law, the constitution, and all the enabling provisions. And therefore, the post-election arrangements we are entering in are legally sound, and we challenge anybody who has issues to take uh, whatever due process they want to take. We are ready for you. We are ready for you anytime, anyhow, anywhere. We are a democratic state. And in democracy, you get seats by going to the voters to vote for you. And the people of Kenya decided, and they have decided. No, Kenya wanataka kusonga mbele. Wanataka kunda serikali ya wananchi wasonge mbele. While wengine walifikiria kwamba they have deep state, they can go against the will of the people, the will of God. But maali mungu wa you cannot stop it. People voted, but as our party leader says, and our president-elect says, and everybody says, as we know, God is the one who chooses leaders. Na kama mungu amekukata, amekukata. Hatu ufanya nini. Ukikataliwa, umekataliwa. In the same vein, wale waliandika katiba yetu, walisema ya kwamba tunauhuru wa kuungana pamoja. Freedom of association. Mimi na chama changu cha chap chap tulikuwa tumezimia huko kwa atapeli. Tukaona mambo wameenda mrama, tukaona mbele sio sawa, tukatoka huko, tukuja kenya kwanza. They cannot force us to remain there. You cannot force somebody to be where they do not want to be. Hata wafanye nini? They cannot. Hata waimbe, waruke, wafanye nini? We tulitoka huko, na tulitoka huko, na tukaenda, tukiendanga. Tukaingia hapa kenya kwanza. So we want to tell people that uh, as a democratic state, we must also learn that we give freedom of expression and freedom of association to our people. And so we welcome UDM to be here, and we're very happy. And we're looking forward to getting done with whatever moves that are coming up, if it's a court case and others. And by God's grace, kwa mpenza mwenyez mungu, tujenge serikali, tuondoe wanainchi kutoka huu tumu wa miaka mingi, wakufinywa na kugandamizwa katika uchumi mbaya na kuambiwa you cannot associate with our people na woga. Karibu ni sana UDM, tukenya kwanza.